Greetings YouTube. Very long time no see. Um, things in my life are just about the same as usual, which is working one full-time job, one part-time job, being a general crazy person, all work, very little play. Um, but I did just get back from a really great vacation with some of my best friends. It was really nice to be able to just get away and relax for a little while, sit on the beach, sit by the pool, get lots of sun, and have absolutely no responsibilities for a week. So that was awesome. Um, but I wanted to do a video because I feel like I haven't done an update in ages. And I do have some new resin pieces. Some of them are mostly finished. Most of them are sort of unfinished, but I just wanted to post because it's been so long. So let me show you some of the things that I've been up to. Um, so here's a magnet that I did. It's got some like pastel sprinkles and it's got this really cute kitty cat. So yeah, it's just a magnet. Um, this is an older piece, but I actually re domed it and I think it came out pretty nice. This is another one that was an older piece. Um, with this mold, it's kind of a frosted finish mold and because it's not flat on the edges, it's really hard to dome and all of the, t um, the top layer would sometimes peel off, which is really weird. But I finally got this one redone and finished. I thought it was really pretty. Let's see. This one, I can't remember if I've shown or not because this is a slightly older piece, but I don't feel like I did. But it's got sprinkles and a cupcake sticker. It's cute. Some of these are fails, but that's okay. And this is a Hello Kitty Mermaid. She's kind of a fail because her sticker got kind of bent, but yeah. This one is one of my favorites. It's kind of an interesting one. So um, the pink bat is its own resin piece um, that was cast in one of my bat molds. And then I set that down inside a mold and filled around it with clear resin. And then I did a background layer of the kind of pearly dark blue. And I thought that came out really neat looking because it's got this kind of 3D drop shadow effect. So yeah. Um, there's a cupcake. Nothing fancy. Um, I am about going to, sorry, I am going to try out a new um, method for glazing these 3D pieces like this that really don't dome well. Um, a friend of mine recommended um, a spray to me that I need to get and try out that I think would work really well on these, you know, tough to to glaze pieces. Um, here's another one that's not quite finished. I just need to dome it. A little lucky cat on a sparkly red background. I thought he was cute. These stickers are um, like sticker flakes and so I wasn't sure how well they were going to do with any kind of resin staining or anything but they didn't get any watermarks or anything. It came out perfect. I love it. I have several skulls. This one's kind of a coppery gold with a white background. Here's a really vibrant neon pink that's got lots of glitter and shimmer and the background is glittery white. It's a little hard to see. But that was fun. And then this one is one of my new favorites. It's this really pretty pale blue with lots of glitter in it. Um, and it's like a solid glitter mix and then the background is this really pretty pink with lots of glitter in it so you can see the glitter through the eyes 
um, and I domed the blue part and then left the pink kind of matte. Um, I mean, it's gloss, but it's not like super shiny. So this is one of my absolute new favorites. I love it. Love it. Let's see what else we got. I have some hedgehog stuff. There's this one. It's a sparkly black with a little orange glittery hedgehog on it. A while ago I was raising money for some vet bills and um, I posted a lot of my hedgehog pieces onto one of the hedgehog Facebook groups I was in um, and all of my hedgehog stuff sold so I have to make some some more so here's another one this one's got a kind of a blue shimmery background in a pink sparkly hedgehog unfortunately both of my hedgehogs have passed away in the past several months so I am no longer a hedgehog mom but I still love them so I just live vicariously through others here is a pink fox on a teal sparkly background with some flowers this piece is like sparkle overload but it's really pretty I just need to dome that one Here's a cute Hello Kitty piece. Again, these stickers are super shimmery. It's a little bit of a fail because that tip of the ice cream cone kind of stuck up. But I think the gradient on this one came out really nice. It's a really nicely um, nice fade on there. So this is just kind of summery and fun. Here's one that's got a rainbow. Oh, focus. A rainbow and some stars um, and just a very pale background, white with some blue sparkly flakes in there. My camera's having a hard time with all this white balance shifting. Sorry, guys. Um, here's this piece. I don't know how many of you watch this anime. Um, it's called Free. It's about a high school boys swim team. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's like, it's amazing. Um, but m my, uh, my friend got me these stickers when she went to Japan. So this is one of the characters. His name is Ray. I'll be making a bunch more of those because that came out really cute. Um, I have these two that are really cute hot air balloons. Um, I am not sure yet if I want to dome these or not because I kind of like the frosted look because the balloons still look really clear. Usually when I use this mold I have to dome it because you can't see the stickers very well. Um, but on this you can still see the balloons really well and I kind of like the frosted look so I might leave them just like that. I haven't decided yet. Here is another balloon on a really pretty blue background. And then I have this. Um, I was just had some extra resin and I was using one of my um, TARDIS Dalek ice cube molds. Um, I didn't do a full pour because it takes a lot of resin to do that. Um, I just kind of poured what I had with some leftovers um, and then I glazed it with triple thick and all the glitter sunk to the bottom obviously. Um, that was just kind of a fun little experiment. I think it came out pretty cute. And then I have the last few are Alice in Wonderland themed. So here's this one that I did um, with some metal charms in this really pretty frame. Um, so there's a deck of uh, a hand of cards and the rabbit and a couple of keys with the glitter, um, red and white glitter background, and all just kind of domed over with resin. I love that one. And then I have this one. Um, this is Alice. Sorry, there's some fluff on there. Trapped inside a bottle with the tag that says Drink Me. Um, and it's got a couple of rhinestones on there on this pretty pink background. Um, these, This is another 
um, sticker that my friend bought me from Japan. These were really pretty. I've been waiting to use them. Um, yeah. And then the last one is another one from that series of stickers. Um, so there's a silhouette of Alice and she's got rhinestones on the edge of her dress. Um, you can see kind of this cake plate behind her that's got the cookies on it. And then I added a couple of little candies that unfortunately were a little too clear. So they don't show up very well. Um, and then it's just on a white background with lots of iridescent glitter. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, I hope to be a little more active soon. But as always, you can find information in the uh, description box below. You can find my Etsy and my Store Envy. You can find my address to my P.O. box if you ever want to send me anything. Um, and hopefully I will be back soon with some more updates as I get creative. Thanks for watching. Bye!